Hey, welcome to the Mods YouTube series. My name's Michael, I'm the Public Programs Manager here. Today we're gonna to talk about density. Welcome back to the museum. I'm here with Draven, one of our educators. Today we're talking about density. Draven, what is density? So density is simply mass and volume. Mass is how much things something weighs and volume is how much space it takes up. So, for example, the air in this room takes up a lot of volume, right? right? But this table has a lot of mass. mass right. Got it, okay. And um, I see that we've got some liquids here, so I assume we're gonna do an experiment of sorts. But I noticed this very funky looking instrument you have over here, what is that? So this is a hydrometer, and hydrometers test salinity. So when we say salinity, do we mean, what do we mean by salinity? Salinity is salt content, so how much salt something has. So for example, water. Water. So if we were to pour some of the water inside of there, we would get a reading of, of sorts, right? Yeah. So fun fact about Florida, we're surrounded by water on all three sides. We have salt water, we have fresh water, and we also have brackish water. Brackish water is a mix of salt and fresh water. So I, I think today we're going to do an experiment with different kinds of water here. Now when we're swimming or when we're jumping in the water, right? I don't see what's happening in the water. I just know I'm having a great time. But if we were to somehow be able to separate the water, which is not possible, we would, we would maybe see something. Is that, a, is that an agreement? Yeah. All right, so I guess the question is, if we were to do our experiment right here, what kind of waters do we have here? So here we have salt water and fresh water. Okay, and so what is the idea here? We're gonna pour them into this box. Yeah, we're gonna pour it into our density box and we're gonna see what happens. What do you think will happen, Michael? I, I don't know. I see that we have a divider here, so I assume we're gonna keep them divided and then we'll see what happens, correct? Yeah, correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's pour these in here. And as we pour, we're gonna pour very carefully. That look about good. Oh, I went way up. All right, perfect. All right. So here we got, we got two different colored waters. One is salt and one is fresh. And now we want you to think for a minute, what's gonna happen when we lift the divider? Is it gonna mix? Is it going to stay the way it is? We don't know. You might know, but here we go. I'll let you do the honors. I'll let you lift that through and we're gonna watch what happens here. So as we lifted this, all the red water rose to the top and all the blue water went to the bottom. Now we already said that the blue water was? Salt water. And we also said that the red water was? Fresh water. So based on what I'm looking at, I'm assuming that salt water is heavier, so it sinks to the bottom, and that the fresh water is lighter, so that's why it comes to the top. Yeah. So I guess another good example of things rising to the top are hot and cold water. And a very fancy way to say that would be a thermocline when you can see the hot water and the cold water separate out. This is called a halocline because we're talking about the differences in salt levels that are occurring right here. You can also do this around the house, kids, if you're at home and there is nothing to do and you're just trying to figure out how this works by using oil and water. You can also use oil and soap. And one cool example that we have is this one right here just to show you that if you color one of the levels, you'll be able to see them separate out. And it's really cool just to watch it happen. And what other chemicals, safe chemicals, around the house would you be able to separate out density-wise? We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. If you enjoyed what you saw, give us a like and make sure you subscribe below. See you next time.